and welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Chicago White Sox taking on the San Francisco Giants. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. So the Chicago White Sox are in position to sweep this three-game series with a win. So, Chris, what's their mindset heading into today? Yeah, looking to go three for three. Blue. They've already won the series, and now they can really leave their mark. It's all about having confidence, and that's what a team takes away from a sweep. So they're happy to win the series, but they'll really be riding high tomorrow with a win today. First pitch coming your way next. All right, just about ready for baseball. Pitching in our game today, Logan Webb. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible Lee job with yeah, runners yeah, in scoring right position. Right. Most guys, right. they get a little tight, they start Don't to make. aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. In the air, left field, fair ball! Now he'll turn for second, and he's got a leadoff double. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right, right there. Yeah. Just a blue pin behind third right there. And that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to. And the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Andrew Benintendi up to the plate. Seems like he's making contact with everything lately. Can make it a five-game hitting streak with a knock in this one. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Man at second. Off the plate, ball one. Slider clips the zone. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Out towards right center field. Solaire gets under it. Squeezes it. Runner tags it second. And he's in safely at third with one out. That is third. Take a look at the lineup. Down to the eighth spot, a guy that's trying to get back on track at the plate, Max Stassi. Yeah, Boog, he just hasn't been himself at all lately. I mean, it's hard to know if it's mechanical, if it's mental. It's just a struggle all the way around. and something that everybody goes through. I think the key is you've got to stick to the process. You've got to focus on every pitch and don't worry about the result. Take it one pitch at a time, one at bat at a time. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. One away with a runner at third. Here in the third and final game of the series. Next pitch is downstairs. It's a good take. Good job to fight that one off. The pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Fights that one away, still one and two. Right-hander kicks, deals. That misses the zone, now two and two.
hard hit right side. Now two away as they get a run across. Good situational hitting right there. Grounds out. Gets that run in from third. They get on the board first. Here's Aloy Jimenez. Bounce to the left side. Davis. The throw to first. And that'll do it. One run, one hit, no errors, and no one left on. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. It's the White Sox one and the Giants nothing. And we're back. And towing the slab, Jake Woodford. And Chris, pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him. Yeah, you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch on the road. Sometimes you know, it's just a matter of luck. It's not having a feel. The difference between the bullpen mound to the mound out there on the playing field. Don't know what it is, but I know this. He's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home. So we'll see what he's able to do in this one. Tyro Estrada in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Hit in the air, right field. Fletcher under it. Makes the catch for the out. Now we take a peek at the Giants lineup. We could be in for a power showcase today with the wind blowing out a lot of lift and separate, Chris. Well, we know hitters are in this era definitely trying to hit the ball in the air regardless of the conditions, but I think even a little more so there's margin for error if you can get the ball up in the air. So, you know, you'll see at times, I'm sure, with two strikes, what looks like a half swing that can get out of the ballpark with a hitter who's got decent ball. Austin Slater, the next to hit, takes ball one. And there's two. a ball. Two balls, no strikes. One down, base is empty. And now two and one. One out, base is empty. Swings through that one. Oh, that's that slurf right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. That one not close. Counts full three and two. The pitch. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Makes the grab and there's two gone. The first base agent, Wilbur. Two outs, base is empty. Flores. And now it's Wilmer Flores. Three for eight in the series coming in. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. Wilmer Flores provides the power. And we're level. It's 1-1. One, one. First pitch hacking, and it paid off for him in a big way. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it. Jorge Soler up at the plate. Yeah. Right through there for a strike. Righty delivers. Sliced hard but foul. And here it comes. Three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's out number three. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. All even now at 1-1. Major League Baseball is on the show.
Back here at Oracle Park. All set for the start of the inning. Andrew Vaughn now. Webb back to work. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Umpire behind the plate for us today, Boog, is Mike Fillmore, and he is a good one. He'll reward pitches on the edges a little bit, but the main thing is he doesn't keep you guessing. Once he established that a pitch is a strike, it stays that way. That one misses in the dirt. Yeah, Fillmore kind of, I don't know, you'd say maybe an umpire's umpire, but really consistent, very fair. pitch just off the inside corner and the counts full and a pop-up right side foul territory Bailey puts it away for the out and there's one down and now Yohan Moncada, four for seven in the series, so he's been good. Swings through that one for strike one. On one. Tied up here in the early going. Hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Digging in, Colson Montgomery. Oh, that's just cool. missed. Man at first, one away. Next offering is down low. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, you're going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. The count two and one. That's and ball another three. ball. Three balls, one strike. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Sometimes okay. being lucky three is two. a swing and miss. If he makes contact with that pitch, probably hits into a double play. Kicks and fires. On the ground. The throw is wild, and it gets away. Lead runner makes the turn at second, and they won't get him, and he goes first to third on the error. A potential double play ball hit to first is probably the toughest one to execute cleanly. That first baseman has got a very tough throwing lane to deal with because of the runner headed to second base, and a lot of times guys try to throw over or around the runner, which can really mess up a throw like that. Still, definitely an error, though. Runners on the corners with one gone. Now it's the White Sox catcher, Max Stassi. Little chopper rolls foul. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Moncada on third. Montgomery over at first with one away. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. Two on, one out. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Got him swinging. 
certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step up and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty good two out at bat coming up now. Mickey Lopez up to the plate. First nope, pitch, and he just misses. Ball one, no strike. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Two zero. Swung on, belted. Yastrzemski on the move. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. As a run scores on the play. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next guy to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. And now here is Dominic Fletcher on the ground right side. Throws the first in time. They limit the damage here. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the White Sox two and the Giants one. Bottom of the second and digging in for San Francisco, Lamont Wade Jr. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And a foul ball. Righty to the plate. And a good eye there. One ball, one strike. And the righty deals. Nice grab. Gathers and throws. Nicely done for the out. Third base would have to be so quick with it. their first step reactions. Hot shots like that. That's what they call the hot corner. That's a perfect example, though. There's no way he gloves that one if he's not dialed in, anticipating something coming his way, staying on his toes every pitch. Really nice job to get back up, set himself, and make a strong throw across the diamond. Now it's J.D. Davis. Sneaks through, base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. Swung on and there it goes. It is high. It is far. swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that is bad mood. Aggressive and it paid off. Singing this was a mammoth home run over 460 feet according to stat counts. You know, Lou, there only may be 20 or so guys in the game that can hit a baseball that far, and it's absolutely crazy. It's even that many. Such an impressive swing of the bat right there. So one out, nobody on. Now Marco Luciano. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Swing, he went too far, and it's a strike. No ball, two strikes. Still only one out here in the inning. Next ball, offering way off strikes. the plate. Two 
Swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center. Pulls it in for the out. Batting up. The catcher. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the Giants catcher, Patrick Bailey. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. swing and a miss and that's that ah when the Giants go deep it's bye bye baby it's now a 3-2 ball game you're watching Major League Baseball on the show trying to beat me it's only one man believe me believe me it's only one man believe me believe me it's only one man Top half of the Leading third right inning. Now it's Andrew Benintendi to hit. Number 23. Andrew. Benintendi, Benintendi, a former Gold Glove winner, a member of the 1,000 Hit Club, a former first round pick back in 2015. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Luciano. Not in oh, time. An infield knock to start the inning. It doesn't really matter where you are in the lineup. Your job is to get on base and try to start a rally if you're leading off an inning. So an infield single does the job right there. Now we'll see if they can make something happen. Luis Robert now. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. Wouldn't one chase oh. that time. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. At the belt and fires. Bounced up the middle. Nice stop. Looks it from the ground. That's one to first, not in time. Great effort there. Well, this is obviously a tremendous play, but for me, it starts with a long, broken in block. To have the confidence to go down, knowing that ball is going to be right in the pocket, so you've got a clean transfer, pop back up to the feet, and fire across the diamond. Outstanding job. Eloy Jimenez now grounded out his first time. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. That's it for a strike. Throw safe. Pretty close play on that one. A perfect throw probably gets him. That throw was just a little wide to the third base side of the back, so he had to reach a little bit to get it. Could have been just enough to make the difference there. And the pitch. Missed with a changeup, and it's one and one. One out, and a runner at second. And another ball. Ground ball right side. And they take oh. care of Jimenez for the out. And up next for Chicago, Andrew Vaughn. Popped out and foul ground first time through. There's a strike. Rudder at third, two away. Two outs. And a count one and two. And a pitch. 
Fights it off. You'll see another. And a 1-2. Up the middle. Estrada. In plenty of time to first. And that is the inning. So one left for the White Sox. And it's still a 3-2 ball game. Back here in San Francisco. Bottom of the inning. Tyro Estrada to the plate. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. His third inning is so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. That's off the mark. Now 2 0. 2 0. Center field, Robert going back, pulls it in on the warning track. Well, I didn't think he got it off the bat, but the wind made it a lot more yeah, interesting right. than expected. Left nice job of the center oh, fielder. Yeah. Puts it all the way back to the Later. warning track. Man. Austin Slater stands in. First time up was a pop out. Hey. Oh, wow. Just missed. I got a ball, one strike. The pitch. And now the count, one and two after the swing one and the ball. miss. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. On the ground to the left. Throws the got first it. in time. Up next to the guy. The first base will work. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the first baseman, Wilmer Flores. He's already homered here in this one. Yeah. And there's the strike. Skips in the dirt. And that's, that's downstairs and outside. Two balls, two strikes. Two down, nobody on. Now a screamer into the outfield. And Ben Intendi able to make the grab. Giants are down one, two, three. And it remains a three, two ball game. And now it's switch hitting third baseman, Yoan Moncada. Webb back to work. And that one fouled off. You know, these White Sox showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. And now one and two. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more damage later in this game. Kicks and deals. Ground ball up the middle. Into the outfield. Base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. So up next for Chicago, Colson Montgomery. 0 for 1. He hit into a fielder's choice his first time. That one finds the zone. And it's 0-1. And 
And the pitch. And he's swinging him in. Feel the change up out there. He just pulled the string. Got him swinging. It's a strikeout. Pulled the string of the changeup. Get him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Max Stassi comes up to hit. Into the outfield base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. In there safely. Waste no time there. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team of bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Nicky Lopez getting ready to hit. He doubled home a run in his first AP. Ground ball left side could be two. One at second. Got him. The double play cuts down the potential time run. Well, we can never overstate it. Pitcher's best friend right there. Double play gets out of the jam, saves some pitches. And welcome back to the Leading ball. Off. John Chavi and Chris Singleton the with you. Right. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Jorge Soler. The why to kick the pitch. On the outside corner, that's strike one. It really feels like we might be running out of time before a rain delay is called. This rain is not letting up. Yeah, and if we do get a delay, the unfortunate thing is the clock's going to start ticking on these pitchers, and they won't be able to keep their arms warm forever if it's a long break and going to have to exit this game a little early. Not even close there. Now one and two. Here's a high chopper. Lopez tosses the first and one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Yeah, I'm looking at his now body language and he just doesn't seem like things are in sync and the ball's just not coming off his bat the way it did earlier in the regular season. Here's Lamont Wade Jr. First time up, he grounded to third. I say it went. All one's the count. One down, base is empty. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. And it's off the wall. Around first and hustling for second, and that's a two-bagger. There. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to follow. So many positives that led to that. Battle. One out, runner at second. And up next for the Giants, J.D. Davis. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Right through there for a strike. Wait, the runner at second with one away. Next one, one misses. Ball one. And a foul ball. Oh. 
And he deals. And that's down and away. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. And that just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. On the ground to third, Moncada throws the first in time. Mike Yastrzemski up here. He's already homered in this game. Foul ball there. Runner at second, two down. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Fouled off. He was late. One ball. Two straight. In the dirt. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Here comes a pitch. And that's oh, just foul. foul. This one in the air right field. Fletcher makes the grab and that'll end the inning. No runs, one hit, a double, no errors, and one man left. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Giants three and the White Sox two. Ready now for the fifth inning. Stepping in, the White Sox leadoff man, Dominic Fletcher. The wind of the pitch. That one ripped. That's back there. And brings it in at the wall. Typically not easy to go deep to center field, but he almost did right there and got a little help from the wind, just not enough. Andrew Benintendi steps up, one for two. Benintendi, the former first round pick, Golden Spikes Award winner. Left hand batter waits. And another ball. Missed. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Hey. And that's in for a strike. One down, base is empty. And it's ball four. He missed down low. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two bat balls bat. and no strikes, but bat. now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, Whoa. but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Robert swings through it for strike one. On one. The White Sox trailing by a run, and we're at the top of the fifth. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stand at the double play right here.
Kaminsky just misses there. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Liner caught it second. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, yeah, but yeah, you yeah. will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Now here's the cleanup hitter for the White Sox, Aloy Jimenez. That one fouled off. Looks like the weather could actually play a factor in this one. It's coming down pretty good. Yeah, it is, and it's not too bad yet, but the field's not going to be able to hold up if the rain gets any worse than this. So keep an eye on the pitcher's mound as well and the rest of the infield start to pummel up a little bit. Two outs. Cap dances out of the way of that one. And the right hander deals. Ball left outside. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. White Sox down to run. Here in the third and final game of the series. Battling here as he fouls it away. And a ground ball to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and one left. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Giants three and the White Sox two. Back here at Oracle Park, yeah, there's the shortstop, shortstop at the play, Marco Luciano. Luciano. The wind of the pitch. Liner staked at first. That swing right there tells me he's seen the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Patrick Bailey, the next to hit. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. Ready? The offense needs to start showing some fight count. against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. And One that's in the dirt. Right. Chop to first. Tosses to the oh. pitcher covering the bag. Two up, two down. Up next, next Giants. Giants. The second baseman. Now it's the oh. second baseman, Tyro Estrada. So easy to look at the big boys in this lineup, but he has been a pleasant surprise all season long. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. A big swing and a miss. This guy's sink has so much no drop in it. It's right. almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets swings and misses. That's oh. off the mark. Now one and two. And that skips in the dirt. Offering is downstairs. Two outs, base is empty. And a payoff pitch. Left field, Benintendi hustling after it. Reaching for it, makes the catch. It's hard to stay afloat when the world's trying to drown me. All that pain and that hurt made me stronger than they found me. As my enemies surround me, I'ma still save this crowd. Back 
here in San Francisco. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And now the first baseman, Andrew Vaughn. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Just missed. to kick the tool and Eight. that drops in for a strike in today's game not that many fastball counts but hitters still in the back of their minds they're looking for one 2 change changeup call right there excellent pitch selection to go with Just misses. Full count now. Yoan Moncada up next for the White Sox. That one down the line. And foul ball. Right hander kicks deals. On the ground to third. Tosses across the first. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Here is Moncada. Moncada measures six feet two inches, 225 pounds, and he was born in Cuba. Signs of movement in the Giants' bullpen. Number 74, up and throwing. Number 61, getting loose as well. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top half of the sixth. Good eye oh, right there. Cool. Pitch clips the outside corner. It's a oh, ball and two strikes. Two one down, base is empty. That oh, one that just misses the outside corner. The count now two and two. Righty delivers. That's Wait, down and in. These first two hitters really making him work out there. Only 14 pitches this inning. The pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. And here it comes. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Ninth pitch of the at-bat due next. To the right side, Estrada. To first. Oh. So it was a long battle at the plate, but they still now managed to get the out. And the batter will be the shortstop, Colson Montgomery. That one to first, Flores. The flip to the pitcher covering, and the White Sox go quietly. So they go quietly there. Two, three, four, two up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Giants three, and the White Sox two. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And digging in for San Francisco, Austin Slater. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The wind and the pitch. Ball. 
Activity in the bullpen. Shane Drohan getting ready to go. Toussaint, the right-hander, also getting loose. The pitch. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Off the outside edge, and now the count is two and two. The pitch. Out to short, Montgomery. Slings to first, and that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Good sinker low now in the zone it. right there, no, and no, produced no, exactly no, what he was no, looking no, for. No. Ball on the ground, nice no, ground no. out. That's a little bit low. That one finds the zone. That is strike two. Righty to the plate. Just oh, missed. Looking for the K. Chris, third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. So two down now, and here is Jorge Soler. And that's in for a strike. That Whoa, one misses, and it's one and two. And another ball. And there's a ball. We'll see another payoff pitch. Well, only on that fastball, I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch in this next one. Two down, nobody on. Good plate nope. appearance there. Able to take the walk. Pitch count's getting up there now, and I'm not saying that's now the reason for this walk, but this is the point in the game when every sign of wavering starts to get everyone's attention. <laughs> In the box again, takes a strike. And that's off the inside edge. And one and one. Two outs. Two balls. In the dirt. Runner holds tight as the count moves to two and two. Bounce to third. Mokata. They take the force out. That is the inning. So the Giants leave one, but they still lead it 3 2. Wow, wow, wow. 
Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, number 74. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Number 74. Here's the catcher, Max Stassi. And he deals. And a foul ball left side. Looking to get the tying run on base. Fought off foul. Way outside. And that's ball one. He deals. Swing and a miss. Took him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. And next to him for the Sox, Nicky Lopez. Inside nope. just missed. Hey. Next offering in there for a strike. And it's one, one and one. to third and that one finds its way through and that turns the lineup over multi-hit game for him now and with the lack of results he's been having lately I'm sure he's feeling some relief just a simple ground ball the other way they had eyes on it man sometimes that's all you need to do just let the ball travel put the ball in play and just hope it finds a hole Dominic Fletcher steps to the plate for the White Sox now it finds the corner, and that is strike one. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Trying to hold a one-run lead here at the top half of inning number seven. Lifted in the air right center field. Soler sizing this one up. Makes the grab for the second out. And a Tandy up here. Curb in the dirt, kicks away. And now a man in the scoring position. So the tying run at second. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Not in time. He He's safe. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Chance out of even this game. If they can put a ball in play, maybe an error, maybe a hit. And now it's Luis Robert. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Strike one. Oh and one. Two. 
two on, two outs. Center field. Brings it in. And that's the third out. White Sox strand a couple. They trail it. 3 2. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Shane Drohan. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Well, one run game. And a batter now. J.D. Davis. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Started go. to go after it. Now we'll look down to first. And he held back according to Rusty Valentine. And ball another two. ball. That one's spoiled and the count now two and one. Now the lefty hangs and misses. It's a strikeout. The well, pitchers have become so much better at commanding that high fastball. It used to be that a lot of pitchers didn't like the throw it because it threw off their release point and their mechanics, and they're aimed at keeping everything at the knees, get ground balls, but because hitters get a swing path that can lift balls at the knees up in the air and over the fence, this pitch has come back into play, and they are doing some special things with it. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. And that's off that's inside. the inside edge. And now it's even one and one. Good Ball eye two. in that spot. Next offering in there for a strike. And the count's even at two. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Kicks and fires. Base hit, that was smoked through the infield. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Marco Luciano, the next giant to hit. On the ground to first, could be two. There's one. Return throw to first, got him. Double play, and that'll do it. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Giants three and the White Sox two. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Luke Jackson. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high and it just breaks a ton. Here's the White Sox DH, Aloy Jimenez. The why to kick the pitch. Right hey. through there for a strike. Well, that's really the money oh, spot one. down yeah. and away. If you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for hitters to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. Right-handed reliever. That one in the dirt, and the count is one and two. Action in the San Francisco bullpen. Camilo Doval getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. Rogers, the power lefty, up as well. And a pitch. 
Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Pretty good strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one. Any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. And up next for Chicago, Andrew Vaughn. There's the strike. 0 and 1. Going to count one and two. His understanding of the strike zone, very impressive. That was a very close 0-2 fastball. I just don't know how you take that. And another ball. Two balls, two strikes. Out to short, Luciano. Rolls across oh. the diamond. Yeah, and that quickly two away. Those plays can be tricky. They're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth. He delivered a good play right there. Here is Yohan Moncada. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. Fastball for a strike. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. That what? one misses, and the count is one and one. Holding on to a one-run lead, and we're at the top of the eighth. The pitch. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. So the tying run reaches with two away. Now oh, this has been a really nice game no, at the bad. plate for him. He looks locked in. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Runner at first with two away. Colson Montgomery digs in now. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. The nope. shortstop ball takes a ball. Typically, the Count outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up. Left-hand hitter waits. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Brings it in for the third out. The White Sox lead one. They're down three to two. And we're back. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Now it's the Giants catcher, Patrick Bailey. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block catch and throw he is at the top of the game and a foul ball third base side really good athlete and many times we talk about you know the feet of infielders this catcher as well really quick feet he's able to recognize the pitch see the trajectory and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop then there's one down Now back, second baseman. Tyro Estrada will hit next. 0 for 3 with three flyouts. Strike one. 0 and 1. Base is empty, one away. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Inside corner, that's a strike. And it's 0-2. No ball, two strike. Try to get him to chase on the change up that time. Ball. 
One down, base is empty. On the ground. Oh, look at the stop. Fires to first. Oh. It's there, and that's a great play. Now, now bad. Bad. Left field. Left field. Austin. Slater. Two outs, base is empty. And up next for San Francisco, Austin Slater. And that's outside. 1-0. and oh. Two down, nobody on. Here in the third and final game of the series. Here's a strike. And a good eye there. Two down, nobody on. In the air, right side. Fletcher under this one. He's there. He's got it. And that ends the inning. Offense held a check there. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Giants three and the White Sox two. It's the top of the nine, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Camilo Doval. Yeah, the walks have been a big issue for him this year, so I expect these hitters to be patient up there. Here comes a pitch. Stassi in the box now, takes strike one. The belt and fires. Balls it in, and there's one away. That's such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. And now, Nicky Lopez. That's down and in, a slider missed. One down, base is empty. That's outside. And that's ball two. White Sox down a run. You're in the top of the night. Next pitch is downstairs. Dominic Fletcher waiting for a turn at the plate. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. Well, so many hard-throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that hitters have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch-up. Line drive. That's a base hit. So the one-out hit turns the lineup over. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting right, averages right, are right, just right. so much higher. Not that was right. a thing of beauty. It may have been right, a little right. behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. So the batting order turns over. And now Dominic Fletcher. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. This is the zone. Yeah, the count even one and one. Going to lay off that pitch down. And another ball. One-run game here at the top of the ninth. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. And the right.
right-hander deals. Three. Sets him down looking. And they're down to their last out. Well, that's a pitch, that slider from an opposite-handed pitcher that you usually see very well. And for some reason, he didn't pick it up, and it just kind of got into the strike zone late. Gave up on it a little bit early. So it's their last chance in this one. Ben intending to the plate. And that's, that's in the dirt. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps. Give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. Two outs. And fouled off. Way inside, gets out of the way. Lopez leads off first with two down to the inning. And they're down to their final strike. He's been great in this one. The high hand coordination just failed him a little bit right there. The White Sox down to their final strike. Just missed. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. Left-hand batter waits. Swing and a ball popped up. He's got it. Parking. And the Giants strand the tying run on base to win. Great pitchers doing in this one. You get to a certain point where each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game. And for these pitchers, it really came down to a few key at bats. This was a fun one to watch. A 3-2 final score in this one. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.